It's our second day here in Trinidad and today we're visiting um, Demi Sims. We're gonna go to uh, El Valle... ¿Cómo se llama Valle? El Valle de los Ingenios. That's one of the places that I couldn't re that I couldn't uh, document the last time that I, that I went to that place. And today we're gonna go there, we're gonna do the canopies hopefully. And then we're gonna go to the beach, which is gonna be uh, Playa Ancon. It's beautiful. I would say that it's going to be like Paradero in this area and stay tuned if you want to see those places guys um i always say this but if you want to come to trinidad you don't want to go for a luxury place which i highly recommend you to do if you have a lot of money because you want to have a fancy place but in this case if you're looking for some nice spot like this one for example which is roberto's house i'm gonna put the link down below with his wipes up so just in case you want to be in touch with him because this place is insane as you can tell look at this it's beautiful i mean you're gonna have like this terrace for you you're, you're gonna have only two rooms just in case you want to have um i don't know maybe some friends are gonna be traveling with you Berto offers um breakfast just in case you want to have that included that's gonna be right here and it's gonna be insane i mean super super good so. so guys right behind me those people that you see that's because in here, because here in town you can do free walking tour. That is going to be of course completely free and at the end if you want to tip them, it's completely up to you. It depends about how much value you got after uh UK. After uh after the tour. So just think about that. If you are on a budget and you want to do a free walking tour. It's up to you. I think it's gonna be like two hours walking around. So it depends on what you want to do, guys. But I think, in my opinion, you're worth it. Bring water, bring a towel, you're getting fatigated. What do you call this? Roman heart. Carn baggy? Oh, carts. carts. Yes. So you're gonna have a lot of this. I don't know. <laughs> don't even ask me how much it's gonna cost. I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna be super pricey. It's more like tourist stuff. At the end, you're gonna be like walking around. In Trinidad, you can walk almost everything. So it's up to you if you want to do that, guys. Everything is close. Huh? Everything is so close. So yes. Close. Yes. So right now we're going to the museums, and later we're gonna go to the Valle de los Ingenios, and then during the afternoon we're gonna go to the the beach. And we're gonna be creating a lot of content. Here's Holly. Follow her for TikTok content about Cuba guys and uh, that's it. Let's see how the day goes. It seems like people are struggling a lot here with the water. This is like a sintern. And uh, I don't know why. Hopefully at home we have water so far. And they don't have black cows anymore. Right. Which was super stressful uh, the last time I came here. So yeah, keep in mind. The top of this beautiful view. Once you get here to the top, you're gonna have views like this one. Which are gonna be completely like panoramic view of the city of Trinidad. So think about coming here. Actually, if you want to, you can go right there where you see those people they're tourists but they're like walking around taking photos and you have like a top view of the city of the mountains that's the valley of the valley now how do you call that where we're going tomorrow valley. i know yeah but oh, tope. Tope, yeah. oh the that's name where, of it yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's where tope de cliente is we're going tomorrow right there so we're going to be on the top of the mountains mountains and uh yes guys i recommend this beautiful yes you can see the sea the beach super panoramic view i mean a lot about these places and for example if you go to havana you're gonna see a lot of places like this that you can bring your own pen marker whatever and you can mark the wall so it's gonna be like the best way to say i was here so i recommend you to do that so i recommend you to do so <laughs> If you want to do that, guys, it's going to be the best way to leave a mark here and say, hey, I want to here. So right now we're inside of a uh, museum against uh, bandits. And 
all the rooms will have like uh, different rooms and all the rooms are going to be telling you different stories so this is the right place if you want to know about the revolution back then actually this thing here let me show you this thing here is going to be telling you about the history of cuba before the revolution and during the revolution so i mean we're going to do a museum tour before leaving hopefully it's going to be uh after tomorrow because right now we're not going to have time to do that but i highly recommend you to visit the museums besides doing a free walking tour because it's the best way to know exactly what was happening in cuba back then right although you probably don't really like the history but i always say that if you want to know about cuba you must know how cuba works and why cuba used to be working like this so think about that and come to this beautiful spot something that i wanted to talk to you about is that so many of you asked me about taking photos here and if you wonder how is that people take these type of photos they are professional photographers sometimes for example that picture that you saw and uh, kids and uh, the school you gotta have a license to do that it's not like hey i want to go to school i'm gonna want to take some videos i want to take some photos i mean you could do that if you have any like friends someone that could help you to do that but at the end they're going to be asking you a lot of questions because you have to show a reason why you will have to do so in my opinion uh people on the street if you want to take photos from them it's not going to be that easy you gotta ask for permission i know so many of you are going to be start commenting hey alex i've been in cuba i have taken a lot of photos and nothing has happened but well in my opinion, I don't know, maybe they know that I'm Cuban, but when I go with my camera on the street and I want to take some portraits, because probably they, they think that I'm going to be promoting something against revolution. I don't know. You know, people think about a lot of things, so you're, you don't know actually what they're thinking. San Isidro Museum, something like that. And uh, I think someone is gonna be explaining to us about this place. So now I'm gonna explain you guys everything about this place and why you should visit this place. Actually, if you wanna come here, what we did is we arranged a taxi because otherwise it's going to be very complicated to get. For what I see, it looks like an old factory that used to belong to someone, rich person. I don't know, let's see what the tour guide has to say about this. El sitio San Isidro de los Estiladeros fue un trapiche llamado San Juan de Nepomuceno que comienza su producción en 1776 en poder de José del Rey Álvarez, un español, que tenía solamente 10 esclavos, 3 juntas de bueyes y 3 caballos. Por lo tanto, esto no era para nada productivo. Pasa a convertirse en un ingenio a partir de que lo compra Pedro Matamoros Borrell, una importante personalidad del, del lugar, de la familia Borrell, de las más ricas de toda la, el área. Basically, this place is now a days ruined. Like, it used to be a big, huge factory, sugar and cane, sugar cane factory from a rich person. I'm not gonna go deep because we're having the tour right now. So if you wanna come here, highly recommend you to do that as well. So let me know in the comments below and we can arrange a tour for you. So uh, we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna try to share with you more places, but so far, we are in, in the middle of a barracón. Barracón is basically the place where the slave used to be living. The tour guide said that this place used to be built to have like approximately three slaves per space. And back then it used to have like 175 spaces, 175 rooms, different rooms. So imagine having those amount, having that amount of slave. 
the other thing that he said is that this place was not productive at all. Actually, that's one of the reasons why the owner back then sold this place. And the question is why this place belongs to the government. The owner decided to give this place to the government, to the Cuban, to the Cuban government in exchange for a new house in Trinidad that the name of that property nowadays is San Isidro Hostel. And who lived there now, Alex? Well, the people that used to be working for that person back then, and now they uh, have the house. So it's very weird, but at the same time, it is what it is. So <laughs> yeah, but it's really insane here, guys. It's beautiful, you have like a great view, and I wonder, how much money you could have to have all this property only for you. This square that we have here used to be one of the uh, rooms. For example, we have one, two, three, but this used to be one of them. How much history you're gonna find in this place. You're gonna find these ceramic building materials, which are insane because these are probably 200, 800, um, 300 years old. I was wondering why they destroyed this place and not the tower and the house. And the tour guide said it's because the tower and the house, it has like thermal water that it used to be like medicine water, stuff like that. And that's the reason. And that's, that's, that's incredible. I'm gonna take a lot of photos. Hey guys, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go and follow me on Instagram right now because I'm gonna be posting a lot of photos about not only this place, but the, the entire trip in Trinidad. So check that out so imagine imagine that back then all this was like burning wow love this place it's insane we're now going to the um the viewpoint which is beautiful actually you can watch in my videos some of it but I'm gonna try to document a little more now. And we're trying we're gonna try to do the canopy. The canopy is basically that's that thing that you can do where you're gonna go from the point A to from to the point B through a line. Like shh. I don't know how do you say that in English. Here we call that canopy. Incredible. You like it? Amazing history actually here that I didn't expect to see coming to a city. But really close by, you can find some incredible things. Something that like blew my mind is like we are staying in the same spot that slave used to be back in time but if you were here this is how the sugar cane looks like basically and now we're about to get guarapo again we'll love that I and mean, in cuba is very common so highly recommend you guys to try that between a donk, donk, donkey, yes, and a horse. Ah, it's like a mix, and we call this burra. But how se llama esto? Oh. So we call this mula. But yeah, guys, these are like all the places that you can visit right here in the Valle de los Ingenios. But we only I mean, we're here, and we only went. Here to San Isidro. We wanted to come here to Manaca and climb this beautiful tower, but we're not gonna have time enough. So I think that's the best excuse to come back someday. The canopy that you're about to see, guys, is going to be the highest in Cuba. Whew, this is gonna be a little more extreme than I thought. <sighs> I don't know how we're gonna do this, but Actually, something that you don't probably know about me, guys, is that I'm super afraid of her. think that you have to fight against that fear for example in my case heights are one of them and here we are I'm doing it 
and it doesn't feel that bad it's exciting and uh yes so this is going to be the last one it's going to be the highest i don't know what's going to happen i could die here so pay attention because this is going to be the one I have a serious flower. Where am I?